All right. Well, I am going to do a walk around on my 1995 Toyota T100 four-wheel drive SR5. Um, I had a couple people ask more about it. So, anyways, uh, give you the quick story. I bought this thing. I think I bought it in 2010. I'd have to look back at the, my title and stuff. I think it has the date on there. And the guy had owned it for a couple years. He bought it as a project truck. He never put it on the road. And he had like all the brakes, re brake lines redone, stuff like that. And I then, I don't know, he lost interest. And it was just sitting in the back of his business, his shop. So then I bought it, test drove it. It drove, it drove, that's all I could say, it, you know. It started and it ran and it and it would stop and stuff. But um, and he was like, "You should trailer at home or tow at home," because he didn't know the you know what it might do. And I was like, "Nah, didn't want to do that." I said, "I'll tow it if I need to if it breaks down." And I, long story short, radiator had a hole in it, leaked out, overheated, fried a piston. So I took the uh, my brother and I. Tore the engine out, tore it down, took it to an, uh, a shop. They bored it out, re-sleeved it, so it's got stock pistons. Um, they bored it out big enough and re-sleeved it so I could put the stock pistons and rings and stuff back in. Put it all back together, put in a whole bunch of new parts, you know, radiator, um, just everything, you know. I think the only thing I didn't replace was the alternator. And I drove it for about 200 miles, and then it stopped running. And I'll have to make a follow-up video. Basically, the camshaft gear, um, the camshaft gear um, broke. And uh, the one that's on the X, right behind the crankshaft fully. And uh, I broke a couple teeth off. There's a plastic cover that goes over the crank, crankshaft pulley. Uh, gear and I had broke that cover somehow and I think a little piece of it fell down and broke a tooth off anyways so I'll do a walk around a couple things the key I have the original mechanism but it's it's busted and it doesn't the key doesn't spin in it no matter what I, I've lubed I've done diff all different kinds of things and it just won't work so I need to find a new one of those or Put in a different door. I want to kind of keep the stock door since the color. This thing basically looked pink when I bought it, and I have um, I put rubbing compound and all that stuff and wheeled it. You know, and I'm not a body guy. I did it ten years ago roughly, and then I did it again just a couple months ago, and it, it's just a rough job. I was just wanting to, you know, you can see I got some stuff in the molding and all that stuff so and then i knocked my up my knocked my emblem off broke and knocked my emblem off i still have them and i'm gonna i'm gonna put them back on if anybody has a recommendation what should i use to stick them back on because i'm hesitant to use super glue because then if i if they come off or if i go to pop them off it might peel the paint but if anybody got has a product that you can use to re reapply those emblems let me know um it's rolling on 17 inch wheels that I had picked up when I first bought the truck. They're black powder coated. They are off of like a right around a 2010 Toyota, I think Tundra or something like that. And the center caps, those are the center caps that came with these wheels. And you'll notice at the front, it doesn't have the center caps. But I did paint this hub, and the thing is, the center caps won't snap on because that hub is so big and it sticks sticks into that wheel. So I I have to put like half inch spacers, wheel spacers. This is what I figure I can do. I put I'm gonna put some wheel spacers on, bring the tires out, and then the, the cap will snap on. That's my plan. But I want to get some miles on this thing before I go spend any more money on something insignificant like that. Um, it's a 95 like I said this toolbox was already in it when I got it and uh, 
I, I like having the toolbox. It's got, well, yeah, I'll open it up. Let me see if I can do it one-handed. There we go. It's got lots of space in there, and it's got a little tray that slides, and I just have a few oddball things in there and stuff, but I figured it might come in handy if I actually start using this truck. The, you know, it's, I've got my stock wheel. This was the stock spare. That actually has a good... No, I take that back. This is... This tire, uh, you can see I plugged it. This is the stock wheel. A one. Um, I have five stock wheels. And so this one actually has a good spare on it. The thing that goes underneath to hold the spare uh, is all was all messed up, so I took it off. I still have it. I might try to soak in some oil and see if I can get it working. The bumper is shot. Back bumper is shot. You can see it's all it's got a rust hole in it and stuff. I can push your finger through. Most of it's good, but it's it's pretty shot. So eventually I'm gonna buy a new bumper. I don't know if I'm gonna go stock bumper or put a aftermarket one, something a little more cooler. The mud flaps, let me know. I, I just watched a video today about a guy, Toyota Fanatic or something like that out in California. And he is he picked up a 95 and he took the mud flaps off. Although I think his weren't stock. I think these might be stock. And uh truck looked really good once he took the mud flaps off so I'm probably gonna take mine off too I'll keep them though if they are stock I'm pretty sure they're stock this truck has an aftermarket radio and this antenna used to go up and down when I would turn the radio on but something happened to the radio it had a nice stereo in it you can see that it's not this is definitely not a perfect truck it's got a little bit of rust bubble but these bubbles have been like this for 10 years I haven't gotten any worse but it sat in the garage a lot I had this box all the way off because I had to redo the gas tank and uh, it's all, the gas tanks all redone it's like brand new looking and so I had like painted the frame and all that stuff but then again that was 10 years ago you know the exhaust I think has a little bit of a leak the front bumper valence you know, it's all faded out and stuff, so I might paint that up or something. Both front turn signals have cracks in them and stuff, so I'm going to replace those. This front bumper has got a dent in it and stuff, so <clears throat> if I end up deciding to keep the truck, I'm going to replace that. I don't, I don't like that. This headlight is all fogged over compared to this one, so got some work to do to get her back in shape, but... Yeah, for a 95, we call this a 20-foot truck, you know, 20 feet, it looks pretty darn good. There's a little bit of rust on the pinch wells down there, but it's really minor. If you get up underneath, I'll try to get up underneath. The truck is actually pretty darn clean. It's got some surface rust and stuff, but it's pretty clean. A few... A little bit of rust here and there, but it is what it is. It's a 95. Oh, I paid $1,200 for this truck back then. Okay, so. And interior. The interior is in good shape. It's just dirty. I mean, I've vacuumed it and this and that. It's got the original floor mats and all that stuff, you know, but they're in rough shape. And... It's dirty. Even the back. I don't know what this guy did. But there's like a big oil. Big oil stain there. This crud. I don't know. Something laid there and just rusted. And stuff. I, I mean look at that nastiness. Looks like chew spill. But I don't think it was. I think it was some kind of oil. There was some mice living in here. I actually had mouse traps in here. Oh the headliner is starting to peel back a little bit back there but anyways overall it's in pretty decent shape just a good detailing i actually have a certificate for a truck detailing and uh so i might take it there i'm not sure what's supposed to be here somebody help me out and tell me what what was there should be there i know that's the clutch override 
and stuff. So let me give you a little thing of the hood. This might be a difficult task getting the hood open one handed with my phone. When I did the engine rebuild, I painted the block. Some people might not like it. Sorry for the bad angle for a second. I painted the block gold and stuff. Valve covers and the block, everything was painted. Um, I don't know why I picked gold. If I thought Toyotas were gold, but the Oldsmobile gold I thought was always cool. So I painted, painted it gold. And it could use a little detailing, but it was sparkling clean when I first put it back in and stuff. And uh, AC has a hole in it. I tried charging it up. There's a little hole down in here in the AC line. So I'm going to try to JB weld that. So it's got a new radiator, new water pump, all these belts, and just everything. Everything's new, you know. May not look like it, but it is. This is the wiring for the radio that's messed up. So let me start her up before I run too much out of video space. This radio is one of those ones that flips open and closes, you know, when you turn it on and off. I do have a check engine light on. I'm not sure why. My buddy has a tester, so he's going to bring it over one of these days and we're going to figure it out. Power windows, power locks, all that stuff. This is an SR5. It has big, the stock wheels are 15 inch, but they're like 30, 31s, 32s or something like that. These are a little bit bigger. These are 17s. You hear it runs good. I thought about just selling it. Now that I got it running, I'd like to think I could probably get maybe around five grand for it since it's got a brand new engine in it. And all new clutch. I put the new clutch in when I had it all apart. Here it runs good. Like I said, I knocked the badge off that side too. A little more detailing on the body and all that stuff. And I, like I said, I might take those mud flaps off. And it's got a little bit of an exhaust leak. So eventually if I keep it, you know, I'll, I, I might get a exhaust put on it. Something a little bit cooler sounding maybe. So I know the my trailer hitch, I got to mess with that. That is so rusted, I can't get that thing in and out and all that stuff. So... I'm gonna cut it off and I'm gonna put a new one on. Cause I wanna, if I do keep it, I wanna be able to have it, use it as a backup for a long period. 